This grave, with its impressive Celtic cross, which, although detached, has been laid intact and neatly on top, belongs to a notable figure from the 19th and early 20th centuries. This man served as the Mayor of Darlington in the north of England. He also became the town's Member of Parliament and he became the first Baronet of Woodburn. As I began to research his life, I was amazed by his connections, particularly through the family of his first wife. I was led to one of the great railway pioneers, Edward Peace, and this video tells the story. Let's begin by having a look at the grave's inscription on the stone at the base of the cross. It says, in loving memory of Sir Theodore Fry, first baronet, who fell asleep on February the 5th, 1912, in his 77th year. He giveth his beloved sleep. So who was Sir Theodore Fry? He was born on the 1st of May, 1836, and became a prominent businessman in the Darlington area of England. He was also head of Fry Jansen & Co, an iron manufacturers of Darlington, and served as the town's mayor from 1877 to 1878. In 1880, he was elected as the Member of Parliament for Darlington, a seat he held for the Liberal Party for 15 years. Back in 1862, Theodore Fry had married Sophia Peace, and we'll come back to her in a moment. In 1894, he was made the first baronet of Woodburn in County Durham. In 1897, Sophia died, and five years later, Theodore remarried, this time to Florence Bates. Ten years after that, on the 5th of February 1912, as we've seen, Theodore Fry passed away. Now let's turn back to Theodore's first wife, Lady Sophia Fry, born Sophia Peace in 1837. She too was a political activist and came from a family with very solid religious and reformist credentials. Sophia's grandfather was none other than Edward Peace, sometimes called the father of the railways, and for very good reason. Edward Peace was also from Darlington. He was a woollen manufacturer, a Quaker, and a man utterly convinced about the potential of steam-powered railways. He formed a very good and close working relationship with the steam pioneers George Stevenson and his son Robert. In fact, he became one of the principals of Robert's company, which was called Robert Stevenson & Co. Founded in 1823, it was the first company anywhere in the world set up specifically to manufacture locomotives. With the Stevenson's engineering genius, and with Edward Peace acting as the main promoter, the go-ahead was granted for the building of the Stockton and Darlington Railway, and that it should be a steam railway, not a horse-drawn one. Opened in 1825, it would become the first steam-operated passenger railway in the world. I was really surprised at the direction my research took me when making this video. From late 19th century politics, I was suddenly back to the dawn of the steam railways. It just goes to show how much history you can unearth with just a small scratch of the surface. And so I'll bring this video to an end as it began, at the graveside of Sir Theodore Fry. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, please press the like button. Please also subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell as well if you haven't already done so. Thank you very much indeed for watching and bye for now.